As always, peace. It's your boy Craig, babe. I want to talk about learning disabilities. It's a real topic. It's real and it's, it's close to my heart because I was diagnosed um, in the third grade with a learning disability. Um, it was shortened to LD. You know, if there's anything that kills a child's self-esteem, it's being labeled LD. This, this is a real serious topic. Something that parents should look at and even look at with their children. Because the way learning disability works in the black community particularly, it is geared and designed to destroy the image of self under the disguise of helping. But how do you help a child when you isolate a child? Or you you make a child stick out by putting a child in a tiny class with three and four students when everyone else is in a large class, right? But here's the kicker. They already, now I can kind of understand being in a reduced class size. But why must they walk in a line to the cafeteria when their peers, I'm talking middle school, high school age, their peers, when the bell ring, they go to the cafeteria. The children with learning disabilities have to walk together in a line. You know, you're literally parading them in front of their peers to be mocked, to be ridiculed, to be put down. You know, and it breaks most children. I know it broke me. By the time I got to middle school, my attendance went way down, way down. My, um, my view of myself went way down I started drinking very heavily I was smoking you know I was skipping school I was running with you know the, the, the wrong crowd it took me being incarcerated at 17 and really looking at my life and Deciding that I wanted more out of life, you know, um, so I was looking for something and I found knowledge of self, the 5% nation. For the first time, I felt that there was value in me as a black man. Because I was being taught a doctrine that contradicts everything that we're taught via media, television, movie about ourselves. And I was given a book of lessons to learn. This was later in my journey when I um, joined on to the Nation of Islam. And uh, the brother captain gave me a book of lessons, 120 lessons, and you are to memorize them. Some of these lessons are two and three paragraphs. And when I first got it, I said, there's no way in the world I could learn that. And I actually learned it. Today, I acknowledge 120. I know all my lessons. Front to back, I can quote them. <laughs> I may be a little rusty. It's been a while. But... It was at that point that my desire to learn um, came back to me. You know, so once I started learning, I started diving deeper into the, that word knowledge of self. What does that mean? It means knowledge of who you are. And I began to discover that I never, I had a learning disability, but what I did not know 
is learning disability only means that child learns different. It does not mean they're dumb and it's not a bad thing. It has to be reinterpreted and retort to our children so that they don't take the negative like I did. It only means you are a child who learns different. And guess what? You're not alone. Most boys, and they know this, most boys learn different than females. A female can sit down in a class and be taught and learn well in that structure. Most males have to move around and touch and feel. That's how we learn. We learn different. But they don't teach us different. They put us in a class to orientate us. <laughs> and when we show signs that we're not getting the lesson plan or we're not getting the program, they label us. And guess what else? They're given, they're awarded certain amounts of money every year for their special education program. And the more students they have labeled with special education, the more money they get. You starting to see something? You should. But parents, please sit down with your children and explain to them that they're not dumb. You may think that they know this, but you might want to say it to them. Don't assume. Let them know that they're not dumb. Explain to them that they learn different. Because these teachers are not going to do it. That's your job. Peace. Leave your comments. Um, I'm trying to speed up getting to the topic. You know, I've been told that um, I, I take too long. And I don't want to do that. And I definitely don't want to bore any of you. And listen, I appreciate your comments. You know, I'm not, I don't wear my feelings on my sleeves. But listen, comment, like, dislike, share, and subscribe. Peace.